good morning we're so happy that you're here we vlog every day so if you enjoy this video we hope that you will return tomorrow so we did not wake up as early as we'd like to have today but then james woke up earlier than he typically does so we just had like a really nice morning just relaxing on the couch we didn't do our typical early morning like productive yoga running situation but we've all just kind of been like awake and up together so it was it was a really nice cozy morning um we have aristocats on and we have some preparing to do today god bless you jamesy as i get ready to go on my little weekend trip to florida starting tomorrow so gonna switch gears and start our day <laughs> We have Marie too, but she is in his room where Peter is having a meeting right now. Jamesy, this is you. This is you. Um, this is you, but this is also our only copy. So today is a special day. Hey. Today is a special day because it's the anniversary of when we transferred James embryo and I don't know it's pretty cool that this is his first picture like we that we knew him then it's so crazy cool I'm putting away laundry I'm not taking it out mister I never finished my previous thought because I was cleaning up James's room and he started to, you saw, he started taking the laundry out of the things. So basically what I was going to say is that it's strange not having an embryo picture for Teddy. Like definitely, you know, through all of the, the struggle and pain and just work that IVF takes, like that is definitely a perk. So today's extra special. Because, um, like I said, we transferred James two years ago. We were reunited with our little embryo. Um, and that's a pretty cool, just like milestone that we'll always get to celebrate. We are watching Toy Story 2. James Z took a good nap. I'd say it's, it was good. Um, Peter's day is winding down and soon I'm going to go and get my nail polish taken off and just my nails repainted um, and pick up a couple of last minute things before tomorrow because in 24 hours I'll be on a plane and <laughs> I'm not worried about this guy. I know him and Peter are gonna have an, a great weekend and I'm, I'm worried about me. I guess my biggest concern with James while I'm gone is him being like wondering where I am or just confused altogether. So that's heavy on my heart, but I also have let myself be excited for what I have planned with Megan and Katie, what I've planned to do by myself and just everything I'm, I'm going to do while I'm there this weekend. Best Pixar scene ever. Honestly. I have silly sunglasses on. Let's see. Oh, you're supposed to walk. He took like eight steps today across his bedroom. <laughs> he wants my glasses. Oh. Wait, really? Yeah. Some salad standing. Oh. 
What about this? You want this? Look! We're getting close. We got antsy for dinner over here, so we're strapped in and uh, giving him some peppers and tomatoes. Is that good? Sounds like it. Oh, so Sarah just informed me all of this is plant-based. Salad dressing, to the chorizo, to the empanada. Not empanada, enchilada. This is not plant-based though. He's full of ice cream. You want another banana pepper? Just pulling out my phone to say that I did not document making dinner very well at all. Actually, I didn't take a single clip, but most of it was like ready-made stuff from Trader Joe's. I just kind of like plussed it. So the vegan chorizo on tortillas, and then I had avocado and lime juice, tomatoes, jalapenos, banana peppers. We actually put the salad on the tacos. Um, and the salad was like the crunchy vegan salad. So it had sunflower seeds and like fried onions. You okay? I also put the romesco dip on my taco. And then the enchiladas was like totally just like frozen, popped in the oven. And then I did slice up mango, strawberry, put some lemon juice on it and sugar on top of that. Going into Target for just a pickup order. Peter has a haircut in an hour. So I need to be speedy quick. This is a nice Target. It's on Elston Avenue. The one by our house does not have like a big shoe section and I want to get like little white like tennis shoes. Um, and so I had to come here. It's super nice. They have an icy machine, which like is a pretty good indication of how nice of a target you are. Um, yeah, I can't believe I went out in public like this. Waiting for my order. Look how nice and springy this is. Look at this little guy. Easy peasy. Got my pickup in and out in a minute. Guess who's finally getting this taken care of? Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Me. Heading over to the barbershop now. The wind made this crazy on the walk over. Like that castle? You are a Mickey kid today. I get home and the lights are all out. Are we already winding down? <laughs> I look even more rough on this camera. Yeesh. So I went and I got my nails done earlier. And I actually just got like my other nail polish taken off and then the polish change. But I got matte finish and I feel like that was just like an extra layer they're kind of like still like I just nicked one like they're kind of like ooey gooey like I just feel like there's like a lot of layers and then I don't know if you can tell here but I thought I was getting like a light pink and it ended up being like the exact color of my skin so it's not what I had imagined but it's better than it's it is better than what it was. Here are my nails in a better light. Plus Jamesy. Um, they're just not, not cute. See how like they're messed up. Like, and that just happened. And I got my nails done like five, no, like four hours ago. <laughs> just like I said, they're better than what they were, but they are not cute. Ready? Good job! Good job! Really? Good job! Please go. Alright, so I didn't get any product put into it because it's late. I'm an old man now, but I'm also going to go to the gym. Um, I was really nervous at first because 
he asked if I wanted a, a mid or a high skin fade. And I haven't had a skin fade like this in a long time, so I'm happy to find this barber that will actually do the skin fade I like. But his high is a very high, at least to my standards. So I'd probably next time get a mid. Uh, but I like how it turned out. Um, walk up home, I stopped at 7-Eleven and grabbed some candy and treats for Sarah to enjoy tonight because I know she's going to be excited, but I know she's going to be a little sad, but I know she's going to be 95% excited. So I, I think she's almost done packing, but um, we're going to go home and hang out before she goes for three nights, three whole nights. That's one of the longest stretches of time I'll be I've been away from her in a long, long time, let alone for sure the longest she's ever been away from James. So I will miss her, I'll miss Teddy, but she's going to have a lot of fun. She is. And she deserves this. She really does. She's the best. Look at Daddy's fresh haircut. Okay, let's see if he'll walk. I think you realize my hair looks different now. Jamesy James. Ready for a fun weekend? My chest is starting to get heavy. <laughs> Your some size is not for you. What is it? A ho ho? Oh, oh nice. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm just, I'm busy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. You weren't supposed you. to actually get any of that. But. So, Sarah's made my health decision physically and mentally. Um, I can't, oh, I actually I proposed it to her. Yesterday was the 10th day I've worked out in a row, and everybody deserves rest and relaxation and to get like, the muscles and body bonds back. But um, irregardless of that, because I was mentioning how on the way home, now I wish I would have asked him to put product in his, my hair because... I was like, oh, don't do it because I'm going to go to the gym and it's, I'm not going out. Um, but James probably won't be up too much longer. And I'm going to miss Sarah. So, like, tonight, Sarah and I are going to hang out tonight. I'm not going to go run. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to get up early like we have been. I'll go to Orange Theory. She'll edit the vlog while I'm at Orange Theory or whatever. And then when James gets up, I'll go do the, our, our kitchen is, like, needs some love. Again, because we've been doing a lot more cooking at home. This whole week, I realized whole we week. didn't we didn't order out. Great. Besides, I, I got nachos at the United Center. Right, but like we ate dinner. Yes, and every meal's been the best ever. But so our kitchen needs some love, and so I was hoping to to have that all fresh for the weekend for Sarah to be gone and for me and James to be hanging out all weekend to start fresh. So I thought of the plan of like if I just don't work out tonight, I mean Sarah can spend time together tonight, and then tomorrow morning because we don't have to leave until like ten or a little after. Sarah didn't get like the earliest flight ever. Um, Sarah and James can spend some alone time together tomorrow morning, and while they're doing that, I can clean bottles and clean the kitchen and clean the dishes. So that's the plan. So we bought Dear Evan Henson. If you guys remember that vlog where we like went out, got the fake deep dish pizza, got the sound bar. We bought Dear Evan Henson. Has like a 3% splat rating on Rotten Tomato, but we haven't watched it yet. So we might watch that. We might watch Cheer. We might just sit on the couch and stare at each other. We'll see. Did you like the ho-ho? Do you know who I am? <laughs> I feel like he like was so happy to see me when I walked through the door. Then when I took off my jacket and got like close to him right here, he just gave me like a weird look and was like, "I don't know who this strange yeah. man is." And he can't look at anything else when his main man Buzz and Woody are on the TV. So the whole hanging out bit. Sarah went to go put James down about an hour ago. I haven't heard, heard a word or a sound out of that room in about 55 minutes. I think they both fell asleep. <laughs> I've just been relaxed, I you know. I'm about to try to eat some of these plantain chips, but the, the puppy heard me. But she has arrived. Someone came out of the room, but I think it's a little late. Huh? No. Say it with me. It's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home. Like, who are you? It was like, someone came out of the room with a ghost. Are you talking about me? We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.